final bell sounds at Penryn College in Cornwall, it signals the end of one part of the school day, but the beginning of the next. For many of these students, this is a special part of the day because they have the chance to take part in Falmouth and Penryn's extended school service. One of Penryn's feeder schools is Myla Bridge Primary. A dance class is about to start here. Penryn students Lauren and Laurie are taking part. Oh yeah, we've got to do the beat stomping. Thing. Yeah, and the boom snap clap thing. Yeah. OK, right then, what we're going to ask you to do is you're going to pick one of these and you are going to, you're not allowed to tell anybody else, you can go, do it in twos. Lauren and Laurie are not dance, students in this class, but tutors. Choose angry, sad, happy or sleepy, grumpy, scared or excited. Well, I went to um, my old primary school, which is here, and asked if I could start a dance school every Friday from 3.30 to 4.30. And then Laurie, well, I helped her, and then we set up all of our planning and then asked if we could do it at our school, and they said, yeah. And up, and back around. Lauren and Laurie were inspired to start the after-school club because they got such a lot out of the extended schools programme at Penryn. We visited Penryn College to find out what's exceptional about its after-school provision. Extended schools is about extending the school and everything that's in it and using it for the best use of its community. And that involves the children and it involves the parents. It means the school should be open from eight o'clock till 10 o'clock at night, 50 weeks a year, which is what we are. It's about the young people themselves having a handle on the activities that are going on and leading them themselves. It's about um, the building being used for the local community, so the local netball club can come and use it just as equally as the young mothers can come and use it. And that might be during the day as well as in the evening. On offer at Penryn College are many activities for students to get involved in outside of school hours. These range from traditional sports to art, cookery, dance, even cheerleading. Learning is the key to everything we do. We're, we're actually a school and we're trying to promote learning and, and we're learning even if we're developing life skills. Students are able to choose from dozens of after-school activities. But it's through the college's leadership programme and its ActiveAS initiative that it's making a real difference to the community. ActiveAS is a scheme run in cooperation with social services and the local police. It's aimed at students at risk of exclusion. We run a health and beauty class, it's called Body Beautiful and the Body Beautiful is a part of the ActiveAS programme. It promotes healthy living, um, healthy eating, especially the five a day. You don't have to come every week. Sometimes girls aren't very confident about wearing makeup, sometimes they haven't got anybody at home that can help them with makeup and it just shows them how to wear it appropriately. What kind of dress have you got? A strapless? Yeah. How do you push that thing out? Do you, know, do you wear it? Is it quite low or is it quite high? We're getting all the girls ready. There's a fashion show tonight, which is going to be um, for prom dresses. I think there's how many? I think we've got 25 girls, isn't it? I think so, yeah. In the show this evening. And 25 boys? No, not as many. Not as many boys. Some of the boys have an alternative ActiveAS date. ActiveAS started about five years ago, and I was approached by the person that started organising it and asked to do a skateboard club. So I don't skateboard myself, but yeah, I thought I'll, I'll go for it. I think it just gives everyone, uh, kids, like the opportunity to, you know, just, you know, just stay out of trouble instead of going out of school, you know, out on the streets or whatever. They just get a chance to just get out and do something active, basically. It's just really, it's just a good way to end the week. It's 
just a really nice time. After school, a lot of the children used to just hang around the school and get up to no good. I mean, not evil stuff, but just what kids are like. And when we started doing skateboarding, which was the first activity that Activas got involved in, um, it did give a lot of children the chance to come and do something different. A lot of the children we get coming along are loners. And once they've been for a few weeks, if you can keep them coming, then they do actually get involved and they change. And I've seen this happen quite a lot. Active Us for us is activities for young people, but with a very clear place in them for children who really need to learn from others who know how to behave, how to get on with people, how to get on with ad adults. But is Active Us making a difference? For me personally, being a little policeman for five years within Penryn, I've seen a, a great reduction in youth, one, antisocial behaviour within the community of Penryn, and youth crime has fallen dramatically um, since Active Ass has been in place. It's for us getting to know the children and the older children, and once we build that bond, then uh, we have a better understanding of what each other's coming from. Whereas Active Ass is a targeted scheme, everyone in year 10 and 11 is expected to participate in the leadership programme. Lauren and Laurie are qualified leaders. Okay, you could do some floaty. So if it's floaty and jumpy, what could you start off your move? You could spread out. They're helping their dance class develop performance pieces. Okay, everybody, do you want to all come over to the board a minute? And then we're going to show our performances. And hopefully it'll be really, really good. Okay, is there any volunteers that want to go first? OK, lots of volunteers. Let's have Flora and Imogen. Let's go first. Can we see it? We're going to count you in. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. It's all very well having activities that happen from 3.30 onwards. But for me, there needs to be a link in the children's head and actually in their learning between what happens at 3.30 and what happens during the school day. Now we think we've made that leap and we think we've made it very successfully in that the, the children have time to learn how to become young leaders. The leadership programme is initiated as part of the curriculum but is supported by many of the activities that happen after school hours. Is there any response? Hello mate, you, you here? Uh, he's completely unconscious. Looks like a 50-year-old male. Airway uh, seems pretty clear. Breathing. And no, he's not seeming to be breathing. I have to start CPR. So, with a child, what do we have to do? One hand. One, one, one hand. hand. With a baby? Two fingers. Two fingers. And with both? What do we have to do initially? Before the 30 to 2? Five, five breaths. Five breaths. Good. OK, fine. No problems at all. Meanwhile, in the art room, two of the active ass pupils are working towards becoming art group leaders. Yeah, well, we've been doing a collage um, based on what we think a good leader should, should have, what qualities a good leader should have. And so far, we've come up with this. We did the activist thing because that was purely out of um, fun and a bit of extra thing we could do out of our schools to keep us out of trouble. But now this one, it's um, very handy because if you do this, not only does it look good, like if you're trying to get, apply for somewhere or something, but it's also handy because you can take it to the next level. In the gym, Scott and Jacob, who are learning to become sports leaders, are developing their coaching skills by teaching a new game to their fellow club members but their coaching technique could use a little work. Basically, you have like 10 aside, and once you go over the halfway line, no, you gotta get the other people's bean bags into your um, nest. The aim is to get to that uh, little thing and take their bean bags and put it in yours. And the first person to have all the bean bags in their hoop thing is the win team. Okay, would it be better to do a demonstration? Yeah. Yes. Okay, bearing in mind, these are the people you're gonna be using. So we need two teams, is that right? Yeah. OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK. Just make sure we're careful, heads up and eyes open the whole time. When you're ready. Um, go. It's supposed to be kind of a strategy game, but... Yes, 
good use of the whistle. All Key Stage 4 children are offered a leadership course at the school, so it could be sports leaders, arts leaders, dance leaders. Um, from there, they, um, they have to do a 40-hour course, um, which involves teamwork, uh, communication, organisation skills, so everything that prepares them for being a leader. And when they've completed that course, um, they then have a voluntary credit scheme. And what they do is they have this booklet, and every time they help out in sessions um, in the school or outside school, they get the tutors um, to fill in all the different types of things that they've carried out and done and um, when they've completed this they can then help out in the holiday program a holiday scheme that runs at our school and um, they can start to be paid for the work that they do as well in the junior dance club Young leaders Lauren and Laurie's class is almost over. We're gonna, you can, you're gonna discuss what have you learned this lesson, and then we're gonna ask, uh, then we're gonna discuss dance of the hour. Okay, so discuss amongst yourselves. Okay, anybody got any ideas what they've learnt today? New beats, well done. A how to dance like a mirror. How to dance like a mirror, well done. Okay, now we're going to pick dancer of the hour with who we think has worked really hard and tried their hardest. Okay, so if you'll close your eyes. We're so incredibly proud of what they've achieved. Not least because we found it out by accident um, to discover that um, Lauren had gone to a primary school, seen a need, set up the activity, and then gave achievement awards to the, to the primary school children afterwards. It was a delight. It, it meant that the heart of what the activities are about was, was really, really working. Everybody open your eyes. Should we give them a clap? <laughs> Do we come up here? Now, everybody shout, Imogen's Dance of the Hour. One, two, three. It's taking us beyond the classroom. It's taking us out into the community. The community use us widely on all sorts of activities. The parents respect the fact that we can offer way over 50 activities for their youngsters. Some are doing one activity after school, and some are doing as many as four or five. Now that's a large amount of our youngsters are working beyond the school day because they're comfortable, because they're safe and because above, above everything they're enjoying themselves.